Tea for Tuesday. Let's see. You are a cantankerous clam. Those fighting words. Them fighting words. Please enjoy a new series of insult teacups from Miss Hav Havisham's Curiosities. All right, let's see. This week's tea is Golden Lily Oolong from Mingjian, Taiwan. Spring harvest, Jin Zhuan Golden Lily, certified organic, is one of the famed Three Sisters Oolong teas from Taiwan, along with Emerald Oolong and Four Seasons Oolong. Golden Lily has a very floral rainforest aroma. I'm not sure if I could identify a rainforest aroma. I might have to take your word for it. Hold on. A very floral aroma. Ooh. The light liquor has a refreshing hint of <laughs> stalactite minerals. Not stalagmite minerals. That's garbage. Stalactite minerals and a sweet aftertaste. Mm. That's lovely. It is minerally. It's lovely. Okay, tonight's spoon is. Oh, Kern or Cologne to you Francophiles out there. I was once, before we cut everything off here, it's in, uh, it's in, uh, it's in France, right? Or is it in Germany? It's in Germany. It's in Alsace. Yeah. Alsace Lorraine. I was, um, before we turn this up, when I was a young actor, <laughs> first trying to get a job, I uh, was hired to be a voce recitante, a reciting voice with a little chamber orchestra in Italy at the Spoleto Festival one summer. And I ended up performing in an 11th century Romanesque church called Santa Eufemia. And in it, we did uh, two things. We did a little chamber orchestra of uh, adaptation of Monroe Leaf's Ferdinand. The Bull with the Delicate Ego, the original story. But the first thing, the big thing I did was I did a reading of um, T.S. Eliot's, no, no, no. Was it Eliot's? No, no, it was Tennyson's. It was Tennyson's Enoch Arden, which is about a man who goes off uh, to find his fortune on a ship, essentially, leaving his wife and his children at home, and is stranded on a desert island for seven years. It's essentially a uh, castaway, but in, uh, in like, uh, like 100 quartos. And, um, and there actually were laws that were developed at the beginning of the 20th century called the Enoch Arden Laws, meaning that if you were gone for seven years, you were officially dead. You may have heard those. Those are called Enoch Arden Laws because he's gone for seven years and he's declared dead and his wife moves on. And he comes home and he sees her with her husband and her, and her new children and how happy they are together. And, he, and, and rather than disturb her beautiful life, he, he, just, he just dies in a house near, nearby and never sees his children again. But anyway, the point is, so here's the point, is that we were broadcast live, the, the, the broadcast that we did with Fame was broadcast live on Westdeutsche Rundfunk Köln, was West German radio, so it must be, must be Germany, Cologne must be Germany. Westdeutsche Rundfunk Köln, West German radio in Cologne, in Köln, and I, uh, the copy of uh, Enoch Arden by Tennyson that they got for me to perform was in German because the music was by uh, Richard Strauss. And I didn't speak German and I didn't know, I didn't know. I, I, they, they thought I could speak German and I didn't know they expected me to speak German so I said, I can't speak German. So I sat there, I sat there in rehearsal every day with this Italian, he's actually, he's a pianist actually from uh, Corsica. And he was a pianist named Paolo Bordoni. And Paolo Bordoni would go over the music every day and I would try to follow in the German text because nowhere in Italy could they find an English version of, uh, this is before the internet. So the day before I performed, I got my English copy of it. And I had never performed it. I had never performed this with Paolo Bordoni until we did it live on Vesto Jerun von Kern. And here's the thing, is that... <laughs> they stopped hours ago. No, wait, I, I was so uh, ill-prepared 
that, you know, I'm speaking for like 45 minutes of like, I'm doing these rhyming quartos. <laughs> and... <laughs> at the end of it... What, what, what happened was, is that I would go up on a line, I would read it and read it improperly, but I couldn't stop because I had to do it in time to the music, so I would improvise the rest of the Tennyson till I could get back to some place in the text where I knew I would fit in with the music again. And so there must have been people in Karn, I imagine there were people following along in Karn who like knew English going, wait, that's not, that's not in the poem, like that. So I improvised Tennyson occasionally for 45 minutes. And only people who ever know are like the hundred people in that church and the, the residents of Kern, where our spoon was today. That's T for Tuesday.